Okay, folks, let's take a look at what's in this class. When you land on our Blackboard class, this is what you're going to see, with the exception, of course, of courses unavailable to students. You should see that it's available. Um, if there are any announcements, it'll show up here. Um, if there's anything that needs attention, it'll show up here. This is our home page. Now there's a lot of resources and tools that you've got, but in general there are two main areas that you're going to need to check in general. Start Here contains links to everything you need. If you ever get lost in this class, Start Here is a great place to go because that's got your assignment instructions, it's got your syllabus, it's got links to your weekly assignments, it's got w links to your discussions, it's got links to everything. Um, however, all of those things are also linked um, into your weekly assignments, and you can get to a few of them directly, like the syllabus, this video, the Where Is Everything video, the weekly discussions, and of course, where you submit all of your materials. So let's go through those things in more detail, and of course, your email. So let's look at what's there. Start here, assuming that it uh, clicks. Yes, it did. It's connecting. Okay, you'll see, first of all, this overview that uh, I'm making right now. So the little overview will look a little bit different. You'll find a place to download the course syllabus, a link to the weekly assignments, our attendance policy, um, a link to assignment instructions and my grading expectations, contact me, so all my contact information, writing and research links, so if you have any question about anything in terms of writing for pretty much any class, here you go. Um, if you're wondering about how to cite sources properly, is it plagiarism yet? Um, going to the IT desk, help, rescue me, and of course our images and our videos. So this is a really good place to go. Assignment instructions and grading expectations. You've got your Book of Hours project, which is pretty much the main thing that uh, we're doing here. Okay, now remember, you can always go back by clicking up here, or you can go directly here. Every week, and weeks start on Monday, and you're going to need to get everything in on Monday morning by 9 o'clock in the morning. You've got everything you need to do each week's work is here in the weekly folder. And I've given you a description of what each of the weeks do and what each of the weeks is for. And so this week, first week, you know, I don't expect you to know anything. We're just getting oriented. And in general, all of the weeks operate the same way. I want you to work through the assignments in order. And so, you know, they'll help you get through your, your reading if you do them in the order that I give them to you because I'm usually giving them in from the most general to the most specific. So let's take a look at week one to show you how I set it up. If you go through everything in week one, you will have done everything you need to do for the week. Again, you've got a link to the syllabus. You've got um, the, you know, watch this video. What have you gotten yourself into? Oh my goodness, there's stuff in Latin. Um, you need to read um, Christoph de Hamel, um, Scribes and Illuminators uh, Introduction. Now, normally your reading is not going to open on this page, but because the bookstore lost the order 
again, I've uploaded everything that you need to complete weeks one work, even if you don't have your books yet, okay? So just because you don't have your books, you can still get all of your week's work done. Um, then read Harthen, the book of hours, and this has all of Harthen's essay. And so save the download because basically all you have to read are pages 11 to 14, but this is going, going to uh, bring down, you know, all 47 pages. Finally, um, you know, read uh, and Roger Week, Prayer in the Book of Hours, 39 to 44, which is a PDF file. Um, and Michelle Brown, Understanding Illuminated Manuscripts, and just certain pages. And then go ahead and watch this video. And if the video doesn't open when you click on it, all of these videos are available on YouTube. And so just take the, the title, go to YouTube, do a search on the title, and you'll be able to find it. Um, finally, read the most extended uh, monograph you've got, um, R.N. Swanson's Religion and Devotion in Europe, because what you've got is a class that's doing two separate things, well, really two related things. We're looking at how manuscripts were made and why they were made the way they were, but we're also looking, as part of that, why manuscripts were made what they were used for, how people thought about religion in late medieval England, especially, but in Europe overall. And so, you know, what did medieval Christians want out of their religion? What did they think was holy? What did they think was important? Um, and I've got a bit of, you know, something recommended if you want to follow through. Finally, you've got what you need to turn in, right. Make one post in the uh, introductory thread introducing yourself, one post responding in a thoughtful way to a prompt on one of the readings, um, and at least one post responding to another student's response post. So if you're the first person to go ahead and you know, click this link, this link will take you directly to the discussion board. So let's click it. And what do you see? You see only one thread, and it says week one prompt and instructions. This is what you're going to see if you're the first person here every single week. So you click on that, and you say, this is your introductory thread. Please make an introductory post. Introduce yourself to the class, a prompt response post. So in other words, it reminds you of what it told you to do in the earlier instructions. Here is your prompt, and you pick one. I've given you a choice of two. Notice that they both require that you have done your reading. All of the prompts are going to be rooted predominantly in Swanson. If you don't do your reading and reference it pretty clearly, you're not going to do well in these prompt responses. So let's say you're the first person to make a prompt response. You can either respond here, or you can click OK, and you can create a thread. And so you might say, introduction um, student A, um, or whatever your name happens to be. You know, and so you introduce yourself, tell us who you are, you make your introductory thread, you click Submit. Um, or you cut and paste from your web browser, and so you, uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what we've, uh, we've got um, here, and um, so, and uh, it's misbehaving. My system's a little slow. I need to restart it. At any rate, um, but you can cut and paste it. Um, remember that cutting and pasting here, it doesn't like your mouse. 
it will always ask you to use it the old school way, control C, control V, and sometimes I found it doesn't like that. So I have to cut something, paste it into a Word uh, document, and then copy from that and paste it into my thread. You know, go figure, it's Blackboard. Submit. I'm going to cancel because I don't actually want to introduce a mythical student A. So I'm going to go back to the discussion board, but I actually want to go back to weekly assignments. So that's week one. Let's take a look at week three, breaking down the book of hours. You can see that it's set up exactly the same way. You read Harthen, and since this is not a purchased book, the PDF is right here. You read this link. You read these two chapters by week. Two chapters are, you know, all of, what, uh, um, nine, 14 pages. Um, and then in your text, you read chapter four of religion and devotion in Europe. You make your calendar post by clicking here, which takes you to week three discussion, and again, week three prompt uh, and uh, instructions. But um, let's go ahead and go back to uh, week three assignments. Notice something else. You've got an assignment about the calendar. And notice that it's in red. Everything you have to turn in is in red. And you've got a submit calendar analysis over here. Please work through the following pages. And it's a link. And if you notice, it's a folder. So when you click on it, it's got a whole set of material for you to work with. So first of all, there's a screencast showing you how to do it. You can either then click this way or follow the, um, um, you know, keep uh, going that way, or you can get back to Blackboard. Um, that one actually takes you to your, your books. Um, and so let's come here. Um, and then there are your calendar images. Here's a calendar analysis worksheet, which opens up, uh, you know, your calendar analysis worksheet, so you can open it there. Um, there's another tool, so it gives you all of these tools. And then finally, submit calendar analysis. You click there, and that takes you immediately to where you, you know, submit your calendar analysis worksheet, or you can just submit it here. But if you notice, the in the weekly assignments, if it's got several parts to it, like the calendar does, you're going to have a folder and it's going to be in red. Complete calendar exercise. Please work through the following pages. Let's take a look at the next one, breaking down the book of hours, the canonical hours. Um, complete hours of the virgin exercise. So reading, 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 or reading. I've got a typo there. Complete Hours of the Virgin exercise, and you've got your folder. And then again, write week four discussion, which takes you directly to your, um, you know, your uh, material. Just for jollies, let's take a look at your, your course syllabus. Open it up, and it's thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. And it's still thinking, so I think, I think, I'm just going to do it this way because um, this is taking too long. Um, anyhow, because this recording is about to end, what will happen is if you look at your syllabus and you look at the cal or you look at your weekly assignment, it's going to track right down the line. So if you do everything in your weekly assignments, you're good to go. So that's basically where you find everything 
in this particular course. If you have any questions,